morning I had the privilege of meeting once again the president of this remarkable country who has set out in a broad public consensus and cross-party consensus also the vision and the ambition for Mongolia to aim for something that is now being discussed in the national context as green development. The transition towards a green economy in which Mongolia will, yes, exploit its natural resources, but actually work towards a qualitatively different development ambition than has sometimes been uh, achieved in many countries across the world. The president of a nation speaking virtually without paper notes about everything from climate change to uh, natural resource use to payment for ecosystem services, national legislation. And you have here something that I consider to be quite exceptional, which is also institutionally, having in a sense bridged this notion of environment and economy by having an environment ministry that is also called green development. We are pursuing that uh, policy that we can coexist with our environment, also we can develop our economy. And uh, in the last year we established a ministry called the Environment and Green Development Ministry. And this year we will adopt uh, policy, strategic policy on green development. And we believe that our economic development and also uh, environment can live, coexist together. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me end by saying that World Environment Day in the year 2013 has found its perfect host on becoming one of the first pilot countries of our Partnership for Action on the Green Economy, which will truly profile Mongolia internationally, but will also allow us as a UN system with UNDP, with the International Labour Organization, UNITA, UNIDO and many others to participate in what is a historical journey that you have embarked on here in Mongolia, both for your peoples, but also for the benefit of the planet. Thank you.